Hello and welcome to our cottage garden on this beautiful summer day. We try to have a mixture of planted things and self-sown items all around our garden to make it a proper cottage garden. So this big clump of Verbena bonariensis, which is around a little nature pond, is in fact pretty much self-seeded and they're really just coming into their own at the moment. Behind is a fig tree which is absolutely laden with fruit this year. This gravel drive that I'm walking around is really a natural seed bed and things sow themselves and just pop up all over the place. For instance, this lovely sea holly which is a Miss Wilmot's ghost named after the Victorian lady who used to carry a handful of them in her pocket and every time she visited a friend she'd scatter them around and they'd pop up after she left so hence it's called Miss Wilmot's Ghost. These hollyhocks were planted somewhere else but they've decided they like it here so they're all coming out on the edge of the drive at the moment. Behind them is a gorgeous abutilon which is doing really well this year because it loves the sunshine. I think the flowers are really exotic. Moving round the drive, there's a rather grand rose there, which is a girl guiding rose. In fact, it's two, um, one given me by a friend and one by my daughter-in-law, both of whom knew that I was interested in girl guiding and it's really giving its all at the moment. And there's a self-seeded Scots thistle which is also going to be rather grand. We always try and keep some pots around by the front door and they're just beginning to come into their own. The begonias are in strawberry pots that my husband's made. He does some pottery and the strawberry pots are really good for begonias because eventually the flowers completely cover the pots. This little courtyard area we often sit in so we like to keep lots of flowers around. And it's quite traditional. Um, there's a, a wonderfully poisonous datura there with its lime creek green leaves but it has fantastic trumpet flowers a bit later and of course geraniums which are always good to do us. Lots of self-seeded campanulas come up in the cracks of the patio and those dark leafed plants are amaranthus. Um, the Jamaicans grow a green variety of that and make a wonderful vegetable dish called callaloo which I absolutely love. Um, but they're really nice leaf that contrasts with everything else. Walking on, we have a lawn here with three rather majestic hornbeam trees behind and the greenhouse that we call the tomato factory. There's the back of a fig tree and a sculpture made out of logs from a dead apple tree that was once there. We had to cut this holly hedge back some time ago. So these days we grow some nasturtiums, which you'll see at the foot of it there, to come up it. And it seems to work quite well. It doesn't seem to interfere with the holly regrowth at all. And if you think our hedges are untidy, it's because we wait until the very last possible minute to cut them so that we don't destroy any birds' nests. So we like to keep them quite natural looking. On the left here is a dahlia bed, which has yet to come into its own. So it's supported at the moment by twiggy hazel sticks. And hopefully in another couple of weeks, it'll be full of bloom. And here is um, cultivated blackberry, 
it was bought as a rose but it turned out to be a blackberry and it's got lots of fruit coming on it so that's going to be really enjoyed later on and then there's a rose trellis here which leads into the back garden and I'll do a film of our back garden where the vegetable plot is in the next slot. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye!